we're going to start to see a new tier of AI chatbots. I don't know that you remember uh, Sakano or Sakano or whatever they're called, but they were one of the first companies to introduce the idea of self-learning AIs. But they've introduced something called TreeQuest, which is more important than you think, and it's become very, very relevant. It basically is an open source technique, and it enables multiple artificial intelligence models to work together on complex problems. Now, this is very different from agents. Agents aren't necessarily working together. They're not chucking ideas back and forth. They are just doing these tasks one at a time, whereas this is multiple agents coming together and asking each other questions and sort of formalizing their answer together. And it's using something called inference time scaling to coordinate multiple frontier models during problem solving. You've got this ba a technique called adaptive branch Monte Carlo tree search, an algorithm that allows AI systems to perform trial and error reasoning while deciding which model should handle each step. So they're just like little ants working away. And in testing, they, they did the ARC uh, AGI2 benchmark, a combination of OpenAI's 04, Gemini 2.5 Pro and DeepSea's R1 models solved over 30% of problems compared to 23% for 04 Mini just working alone. So it's kind of that extra juice it gives gives these models that extra juice and what i think is really interesting you can use different models together it features a flexible api that allows developers to implement custom scoring generation logic with checkpoint capabilities for long running tasks the framework supports both single model and multi-model deployments making it accessible to organizations with varying te technical requirements mm -hmm really groundbreaking stuff and i thought that the the whole you know self-learning mechanism was kind of you know the singularity but this is a whole new paradigm altogether that you know they're actually working together um, and deciding amongst themselves which is the right approach this is grok heavy this is super grok heavy and, and you see it in their graphs they do the long horizon thing and you see the boost that it gets so grok on its own is fine and then you've got the time context window or something they call it then you get that boost and this is exactly what this is so what that tells me is that grok are not going to be the first people to implement this we're going to see this because it's open source why wouldn't other models do this by getting that extra thing and then getting that extra buck because we know the price of Gronk. We're going to start to see a new tier of AI chatbots that offer this agent working together tree quest functionality. I love that tree quest because they were branching off and doing their thing. It's cool. Yeah. So we have this new tool in the in town. I, I believe this does the entire thing much different from what you showed, uh, but the results might be very similar. Uh, it's called roundtable.now. <laughs> And it's essentially just a bunch of different AIs around the table discussing something together. So I just signed up literally right now. And I asked, is there such a thing as objective morality? So the idea is that each uh, GPT, each um, AI tunes in and they talk about, you know, what you ask. And the idea is that they discuss this um, like between each other and then they should come to a conclusion. So here I'm saying like conclude and then we see each essentially chatbot uh, trying to come to a conclusion and they see each other's responses. Yeah, this, this is uh, funny because this is also going to be pretty expensive, I guess. I have five models right now, but like if you paid unlimited, you get 20 models at once and then it's a thousand a month or a thousand a year a month <laughs> i think it's going to achieve the same thing but it's just done in a different way so the differentiator comes down to it whether it's open source or not because you know round table are gonna they're gonna want to try and earn from subscribers whereas Tree Quest is sort of open source, and that means Gemini and Open and AI and all the rest of it are going to adopt that and make it their own sort of thing. This is part of a larger conversation on my show, Command AI, which we stream live every single week. We discuss the news and all things related to AI in the world of design and web. Catch us next week and join in the banter.